questions. Hey, Todd, congrats on the win. Um, first, we're going to start off with um, Anthony Dasher and then Chip Towers. Hey, Todd, congratulations, man. I know you didn't start the game the other day against Auburn. Uh, was there any kind of extra motivation for you and going 9-9 nine nine from the field today? When's the last time that kind of thing has happened for you? Um, not starting the other day wasn't necessarily the motivation, but that does fuel me. But it's the fact that we were 0-4 in conference play. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest motivation you need. If you, if you claim to be a winner, Losing games should motivate you more than anything, whether it's starting, not starting, mid-shot, none of that really matters, but winning. So losing games is what motivated me. Yeah, Ty, I, I, I kind of wanted to ask about that part. I, I, Coach Cream told us he got dunked with Gatorade for the first time in his career. So uh, is that an indication of how bad you guys just wanted to win? Yes, sir, it is. And it didn't have sense to before the game last night and today. We just kept reminding each other the last few days, like, we just got to get back to having fun. We got to make sure we're having fun. And that, the dump in the water and the get rate on him wasn't about the necessarily, necessarily about the win. It was just the fact that we got to get back to having fun and enjoying the game like we were the first seven games. All right, up next, let's have Brian Curley and then Mark Weiser. Hey, Ty. Was the energy and confidence different in your team today than it was the last few games, especially in the second half? It was. Like I said, we was motivated. We went into the half up one, I believe. And we just we just wanted to keep that. We wanted to stay the course, uh, take on any run they brought because the it's a game of runs. So we knew that was going to make some run. They are going to fight because they're a great team. We wanted to be able to stand that. And we wanted to make sure that we uh, persevered to get our first road win, our first conference win. Ty, I know they mentioned that you were nine of nine. I, only one of them was a three-point shot, but as a team, you guys, I think we're nine of 15 shooting from behind the arc. Uh, you know, what is that, when you guys can shoot at that percentage, how dangerous does that make you guys, you think? Uh, it makes us very dangerous, as it would any team. But for us, uh, it makes us very dangerous because it creates spacing, it creates ice, it creates lanes for cuts, it creates uh, opening and gaps for guys to get to the rim and finish or get fouled. It just creates a, a havoc for the defense, and that's what we need. All right, let's have Andy Walsh and then Mike Griffith. Hey, Ty. Um, we've only seen, you know, a small sample size of Katie Johnson so far, but, you know, he was two for four on Wednesday on threes and then four for five today. Is that the sort of stuff you're seeing in practice from him? You know, the step back three, the back to back one, and the back to back uh, threes in the second half. Is that sort of the stuff you're seeing from him? And sort of how does he change this team for you all? Most definitely. Uh, I've seen it ever since he's got here. He's got better since he got here, but for us, he like our biggest energy giver. Like we all, we all love to feed off his energy. And the crazy thing about it is, he gets his energy from us. Like he says it all the time that he feed off our energy. So it's a mutual relationship with that. And then he's just great for the team because he's aggressive. He can get to the lane, and he made big time shots today for us. All right, I think Mike might have gotten off, so let's do Davis Baker and then Jed May. Hey, Ty, just what was the difference in free throw shooting tonight? Obviously, it was a shaky performance on Wednesday, but you guys got back to shooting the ball well from the free throw line tonight. Focus. Focus. We, uh, we've been shooting it not as good as we want from the free throw line, but the last few days and for previous games too, but it just didn't show. But the last few days especially, we've just been working on our free throws, shooting them when you're tired, just getting everybody to get in the gym, getting extra reps on them. We've just been trying to put focus in the area because it's one of the areas that has hurt us in some of the games that we have lost. So we're just trying to continue to improve there, and we did a day and show. Hey, Ty, um, how much today do you think y'all figured out stuff that you'll be able to take through the rest of the season? Coach mentioned, you know, doing different stuff out of timeouts. You know, you, it seemed like there was better movement and, and cutting on offense. How much did y'all figure out stuff today that you think you can be, you'll be able to take through the rest of the season? Well, we learn it every day, but what I think we figured out today is something that we knew the last four games, we just didn't execute. When we plan together as a team and we're getting everybody involved, the spacing and the cutting is there, the togetherness is there on defense, which was the biggest part today. Uh, they hit some big shots, but we were together on defense. We never folded. We continued to fight. And that's just something that has to be our character every game, each game out, each game in, each game out. And today, that was, today was a great example of it. All right, and last question, let's go back to Mike Griffith. Thanks. 
Uh, hey, Ty, uh, great shooting, man. Hey, I, I want to ask you about Severe just breaking it down there against that 1-3-1. It just it looked like things got – looked like there was havoc there in the final minutes. Can you just talk about Severe having the ball in his hands and the, the presence he showed at the line and breaking down that defense? I mean, I mean, that's what he does for us. He's he, We go as he go. He, he brings the pace to the team. Uh, he keeps our speed up, and he made plays for all his teammates. Uh, he, was, he was aggressive towards the end. He got fouled. He made some big free throws. And I remember just telling him every, each time he went to the line, I was like, just give me one, baby. Just give me one. And he just made all of them. I told him, you got ice in your veins, boy. That's good. Big shots. I told him, I said, big time players make big shots. And he did that for all us. Right. All right. Thanks so much, Ty. Thank y'all. Y'all have.